Thank you very much for the opportunity to deliver the lecture on the occasion of 190th anniversary of our parliamentar, which has produced many luminaries in different fields. Ours is a newest discipline. We have not yet started the super specialty qualification curriculum yet. Our building is in the process uh, to be opened. So it's the latest discipline. And unfortunately, it is clear that uh, cancer is the last priority in any uh, disease uh, mindset of the doctors and the health administrators. Because all the cancer centers are memorial. Unless someone dies in the family, one doesn't require to know that there is something called cancer. And once it happens in the family, then he realizes that cancer is a very important disease and it has taken away my everything. Like it happened in USA with some uh, memorial hospitals, Sloan Catering, and in India it is in uh, Tata Memorial. And after that, Kidwai Memorial, so many memorials. So we'll also name in some great uh, Bengali uh, who died of cancer, Osirdi Thakur Ramakrishna. Many of you may not be known. Anyway, before going into the talk, so that is why the interest in the fields of oncology is limited. And uh, that's why I don't want to go much detail into it. And it is the latest uh, modality of oncology imaging. It is called PET CT scan, positron emission tomography. Positron is a molecule which is beyond neutron, proton, and electron. So it is called positron. But this is the tumor which is highly active. Highly aggressive tumor called <coughs> hepatocellular carcinoma. So, hepatocellular carcinoma patient came with such big tumor, and this was the biopsy. And this is the brown chemistry, they called it immunohistochemistry. Then, it is the tumor cells are parameters are given, and uh, based on this trial, this was the phase 1D trial. Uh, based on which I thought that uh, since this new molecule has come into our armamentarium way back in 2021, I uh, started the molecule. They had done only 104 patient phase 1 dose limiting toxicity trials and lenvatinib of pembrolizumab had promising. By that time, standard of therapy was atezolizumab plus dolacizumab, but atezolizumab was quite costly. Pembrolizumab was that time. Uh, was available at a lower cost. So, this was the result. Totally vanished after uh, five cycles, 21 days interval. So, this activity will be almost same. It doesn't mean all cancer will behave like this. It happened with me in another case way back in uh, 2020 19 that a F positive tumor of two patients vanished. Then everybody thought the TGOTD is a panacea. All people used to ring me up from different parts of the nation that I will come there and get a TGOTD. They will ask my friends that we will get to go to him and take TGOTD. So I always tell that it is not a panacea. It is for particular type of patient which can be utilized. One of my ovarian cancer patients was such. Know, everybody comes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sir, your is given. And like I am a very good specialist. It is not like that. So it is also like that. It will not happen everywhere. It is just to impress upon you, it is possible that once cancer is there, it is no answer, it is no more correct. So in a lighter note, you can uh, blow down this fire by immunotherapy. See, these are my few patients who so renal cell carcinoma. Variety of cancer we have used this and uh, got reasonable results. Few of them are still ongoing. With patient support program, we are somehow managing in medical college, which is not possible to be given. And uh, these are the non small cell cancer where we have used already. And Jaydeep has elaborated on few of them, like Durvalumab, Atizolizumab, and Pembrolizumab, possibly. My data is only on Pembrolizumab because it was only available there. The rest all were all generic and highly cost. And this is the mechanism of action. Those who are interested can know that the tumor cells are normally not taken up by the T cells. 
Thank you, Shivasi.